So I'm going to show how easy it is going to be to set up the um, the uh, the uh, depth of field rendering. Um, so we're here in Elven Forest, and um, let's go set up some points. Just select the camera, set speed, 10, okay, let's just put, let's see, um, okay, there, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's going to play back. See if it works. Decent. Okay. Um, so I am going to enable the uh, costume environment. I'm going to save this, the current environment. I'm going to save as diffuse map. I'm going to load up the uh, depth map. Load the first point, so I can see its reference. Uh, view this. I'm going to set the 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 the, the, the far, far clip to 400, maybe here. So we just get a shallow depth of field. Um, that should be okay. So now I save that one. <coughs> save depth map. Okay. And that should be about it. Multi pass rendering on and speed to zero. Now I put the window up in the top corner so there's no windows over it because it's going to take screenshots of the World of Warcraft window. And we hit, uh, let's just see, yes, yes, yes. So now it's done and we're going to load up uh, a application for compositing. My favorite is Nuke. So I'll just use that one. NukeX. Um, let's just see. Okay. I'm just going to close home machine with all close. And let's load up the footage. Actually, I already got one. No, let's just um, put it in here. Uh, it's there. And the latest one is there. Take the diffuse map in. And... As you can see, we have now a sequence. Nothing's happening because we have not made it diffuse. There we go. So, as you can see, we have the diffuse, and now we're going to load in the depth buffer, and the depth, so, and we have the depth buffer here. So. We're going into Genets, Blur, Depth Blur, just see how that works. The source should be Diffuse, and we should set it to Black is near, and let's just uncheck this one, put this one in. Um, and set this to two. Right. So now we can sort of just set the depth of field there. We can see where the um, the focus region is. So we can like say, okay, let's focus far back or wherever we want to go. Um, in my case, I want to focus fairly close to the camera. So I just go to do like here. And results. I'm going to set up the number of layers and set the interpretation method to composites and set the blur width a little bit down. 
so it looks a little bit more natural and the depth of field down as well something like that okay so you can play it back now it's going to render <coughs> and now we have rendered some frames and as you can see we play back with uh, depth of field turned on super duper simple and we can always just change the change the focal depth so we have like uh, focus way back and it play back again and it changes so super simple